And uh, but one morning after we were graduated, uh, they called out our platoon, and they uh, they told uh, about uh, fifteen of us to uh, report to the orderly room, and we did, and we were shipped to Ohio State University uh, under orders, and uh, they put us in uh, a, a hall that they had to vacate women from that hall. I don't imagine they appreciated it, but we took over that hall, and uh, we had uh, we had chemical engineers there and chemists and physicists and uh, mathematicians, uh, and we were all put in uh, Term 9A of Mechanical Engineering, which is a graduate course in Mechanical Engineering. And uh, I either volunteered or was selected to go to the uh, Captain Grochen, who occupied a place in that, bar in that dormitory, and I said, <laughs> Sir, <laughs> permission to speak. He said, go ahead, or I could. I said, you know, we're in term 9A of uh, mechanical engineering. I said, none of us is a mechanical engineer. And I, I'm, I'm just wondering if, uh, you know, that's, that's planned. And he, he didn't answer the question exactly. He, he pulled a fold over in front of him and said, O'Rourke, do you, you guys want to go back to Cape Roberts? <laughs> I said, no, sir. He said, well, study your mechanical engineering. <laughs> so we did. <laughs> and we had lights out at night. I think it was 11 o'clock. But we didn't, we didn't understand the lectures. And we'd have flashlights under the blankets. <laughs> We're studying elementary stress and strain and things we didn't know about. Uh, and trying to stay alive in the graduate mechanical engineering. When the bomb was dropped. <clears throat> and so while we had never talked about it at work, uh, one of the engineers came by. I was going to go on vacation with a friend. We were going to go to Washington for a week. And <clears throat> one of the engineers stopped by and he said, well, it won't be long now. And that was it. <clears throat> and so um, my friend and I rode the train to Washington and walked, walked, walked everywhere. And every night the bands were playing and everything, and then the bomb was dropped. So I was in Washington when it dropped. And the next day, we were leaving on a ferry to go to Norfolk to visit my sister. And we get on the ferry, and everybody's talking about this. And one woman says, and nobody knew about it. And for the first time, I said, well, I knew about it. And uh, she said, you did not. The paper said nobody knew about it. And I thought, hmm, I wonder how she thinks it got made. <laughs> but I didn't argue with her. <laughs>